I have never felt tired <laughs> like this. My boobs are so sore. The thought of food makes me feel sick. I can't sleep. It's so annoying. I don't know. Like, I'm actually pregnant. And not with one baby, but with two. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, oh my god, you're having twins and you get married next year. <laughs> This isn't what I thought pregnancy would feel like either, by the way. We're going for a 12 week scan! I've never, I've actually not been this nervous for years. Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. So, you probably already know what this video is, but for me, it's very surreal because this is obviously a very, very exciting video for me and Fab to start filming. This is going to be our first trimester video. And by the time you see this, I will be in my second trimester, which is just like mental. So it's currently the 13th of April. We found out that we were pregnant on the 11th of April. So Monday, the 11th of April. So I'm starting this two days later because I've started to have a few little like changes and like symptoms of pregnancy. I mean, I am not complaining in the slightest because this is what we've wanted for so incredibly long. So yeah, I just thought I would start this video and just tell you about how I'm feeling. In terms of like myself, I'm feeling very like, I don't know, like normal. Like I'm not being sick, touch wood. Like I've had no morning sickness yet. I did feel a bit sick last Tuesday. Um, in the morning, but I don't know if my temperature just rose a little bit too high. I don't know what happened, but basically felt really hot and was nearly sick. But other than that, I've had no morning sickness whatsoever, and I hope to God that I have, that that's the same the whole way through, because I have a real, like, phobia of being sick. Like, I get very, very wound up being sick. Today, I have felt a lot more tired than I have been. Like, I think the last two days have kind of just been... A bit of adrenaline rush now i'm starting to feel a little bit more drained like today i found a little bit more had to find a little bit more motivation to do stuff like my eyes are a bit heavy i feel a bit more like fatigued like i said in the previous videos which is kind of like the reason i knew that i was pregnant is because my boobs are so sore like even just to touch if they're really really sensitive and they've also doubled in size so <laughs> Fab's like, oh my god, every time I take off my jumper now and my bra doesn't fit. So I need to go and buy some new bras because, yeah, this is getting a little bit out of control now. But yeah, still really, really early on. I think I'm like four weeks and three days. We've got our first scan. So my six week scan, but I'll actually be seven weeks. And hopefully then they'll be able to tell us like about the heartbeat and stuff. And that it's going to be a good pregnancy. And we're going to be absolutely fine because this first trimester especially with your first child is absolutely petrifying i feel like i'm literally googling everything like i've got a cold sore on my lip or i think it's actually like an ulcer and i was like is it normal to get cold sores and ulcers when you're pregnant and it's like yes <laughs> stop worrying um and then other things well like my google history is like <laughs> i'll just go and show you oh, baby names boy names I'm really struggling with boy names, actually. Vitamins you should ch take in early pregnancy. Is it normal to have crampings like you're coming on your period in early pregnancy? And yes, it is, by the way. But I've had a really, like, heavy tummy today. I was like, oh, is this normal? Like, I've, I've actually felt as if I'm going to come on my period, but apparently it's totally normal. It says, this happens because both the hormonal changes in your body and your e increasing blood volume which is fine. As long as it's normal in pregnancy, I don't care. Another thing as well that I'm a bit like wary of is um, me training at the gym. So obviously me and Fab still want to be able to go to the gym and stuff. I've got my first doctor's appointment. Um, I think that that's the one that you get referred to your midwife from. Um, I've got that next Friday. So I'm going to ask them, like, can I still train? But as far as I've seen online, it's actually encouraged for you to like keep training because if you've done it before it's actually better for your body to carry on training through pregnancy obviously you can't do things like hip thrusts but they do say to carry on just like normal as much as you can so hopefully they say that i can carry on but for now i'm just like taking things mega easy and just like not putting myself under any like extreme pressure of lifting heavy or um 
anything like that but yeah if the doctor okays it then we go obviously i won't be doing my maxes because i think that's just way too much but so yeah i don't know when i'm next going to pick up the camera and i don't know if fab wants to come and have a chat <laughs> about the first trimester and how he's feeling but from speaking to him i just think he feels very like he's feeling very anxious about it as well um and i think when we go to our scan and we obviously see baby <laughs> then it will set in a little bit more for us both because at the moment it's just like yeah okay well the pregnancy test has told us that we're pregnant but <laughs> we haven't seen anything in terms of telling parents and stuff i don't know if you'd have seen that before this or this will be out before that i'm assuming that this would be out after that but yeah it's both my parents' birthdays coming up so we're gonna like get my dad a happy birthday granddad card and then my mum a happy birthday nanny card and both of them are just gonna be like oh my god my like they both know that me and fab obviously want to have a baby but they just i just think that they'll be totally shocked but yeah i'm so, i'm so excited to tell my mum i'm so like so excited to tell my mum because my mum doesn't know like that we've been trying at all because i've really wanted to just keep it a surprise for her because i don't know i just i just really want to just surprise her but how exciting oh, i'm so excited i'm so excited so excited this isn't what i thought pregnancy would feel like either by the way I thought I would be feeling sick. I thought I would be like completely and utterly drained. I thought, I just thought this would be completely different, but yeah, I'm sitting here all smug right now. Watch me, watch the next clip. <laughs> what are you getting excited about? Yeah, this had so Buying baby stuff. Like kind of you and the sheep. <laughs> this is our life now, guys. Watching <laughs> baby content because she was so deprived of it for ages. <laughs> Now everything is baby content. I've, I've watched so many videos of things to buy for newborns. Have you? Bad day today. Pardon? I'm just having a bit of a bad day with oh. pregnancy today. Are you? Update them, what's going on? I can't. No, this is for the pregnancy one. Also, by the way, we're like mid-filming in a different vlog, so I have to be very careful when editing. Go on, tell them what's up. Why? What's the matter? I'm feeling very sick, very bloated, to the point where I think my stomach might explode. I feel tired. I'm fed up of not wanting to eat. <laughs> I think that's her biggest thing. Is she's gone off her food completely. And the like, like it's making me feel really sick now. I don't know. We better stop then. Do you feel like your hormones? Do you feel moody at all or not? Yeah. No, I don't feel moody. No? No. Good. I don't feel moody, just feeling sick and tired. I guess that does make you feel moody, doesn't it, when you're feeling sick? But she's powering through. The thing is as well, I feel sick when I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat food. It's like a nasty, yeah. vicious cycle. Vicious cycle. For like, the thought of food makes me feel sick. But then I feel sick because I'm hungry. Yeah, but when you eat it makes you feel bad, doesn't it? I literally look like slip wreck. I don't know why you've got the camera on. What do you mean? I don't know why you've got it on. Because I just want to update people on how things are going. Okay. So you want me to talk? No, I'm going to talk. Because I think it's important to give the dad's perspective too. Oh, yeah. You think? Yeah. Of the first trimester. Yeah. But I also want to say, Elle's got a little bump now. Mm. Well, I don't know if we're if, if it's just us. It's a tiny bump. It's a teeny bump, but it's definitely coming. <laughs> um, there is definitely something there. Yeah. And we did another test the other day, didn't we? I don't know why that went through. No, but the, basically the test line is like dark, dark red. She's developed a weird... Mm. habit where she doesn't like her food i don't want to eat she's got no appetite and... well it's not weird it's probably completely normal but it's weird for ellen because she loves food mm. and now she doesn't really eat her dinner it's like making me like wretch and it's not because i feel sick i just don't get pleasure out of eating food that is so but sad i know i know i've got i know i've got to eat i'm trying to just eat like like 
nutritious stuff like fruit. Yeah. And I'm trying to get in my carbs. What you need protein. to do then. Well, that's gone out the window. It'll come back. You just need to, whenever you are hungry, get those pilot in. Yeah, I know. Don't you? I don't feel hungry though. Oh ever. Dear. I don't That'll want my pass, breakfast. Surely. I don't want my lunch. I don't want my tea. That's not good though. You need to be eating. And I don't know if it's because like I'm making it. Do you think? I don't know. I don't know if maybe it it was already made and I ate it. Yeah, because you were fine with Nando's. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was. We filmed a answering questions we've been avoiding last <laughs> night, as some of you will probably have watched, and 90% of them were asking if we're having a baby or if Ellen's pregnant or if we've we been trying for a baby. <laughs> and that was... We spent ages trying yes, to think yes, about... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we spent ages trying to think about how we could get around that question. Mm-hmm. We couldn't really answer it. Way too early. Because if you give any hints, then people know straight away, don't they? Yeah. But anyway, from my perspective, I'm excited to, like, learn about stuff. Yeah. Because I love learning about stuff. And I want to, like... I think a lot of guys would probably think, my job's done now, and I can just sit back. But I do... I really want to, like learn and support you as much as i can yeah and like, i was looking at buying books it's so cute. yeah i want to buy a book but yeah i want to support you i don't just want to like sit back now and wait i want to see if i can help you and like yeah do you know what i mean yeah that's nice and yeah i'm just buzzing i'm so excited to, what do you say you can cook my tea cook your tea <laughs> Leave it all. um i'm just buzzing to tell our family and friends I now know. We've got our scan on the 30th, which is weekend after this one coming, so two weeks. Oh less than two weeks. What? That's not long at all, is it? No. So then we will be able to oh see the baby's heartbeat. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's touch wood. Because sometimes at this... Because we're going for... Well, it'll be seven weeks exactly when we go. What? Sometimes they don't have it? No, no, no. Sometimes you just can't see it because you're so early. Oh. So you've got to wait until a bit well, later. Let's hope. I know. Um, I think everything's going, like, in the right direction, though. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I'm a just, I just can't wait for that now. It's horrible not being able to talk to people about it. Mm. This part is horrible. The only person we've told is my sister. <laughs> the, that's the only person. And, no, because... no, and my friend Harry. Oh, yeah. It's only Those two are the only people that know right now. Because, well, I just needed to tell somebody and I want to make it really special for my mum and my dad because it's going to be their first grandchild. So I want to make, like, telling them super, super special. Yeah. The only reason I told Harry is because he messaged me saying that he... He messaged me saying that his partner, Paige, was pregnant with their second baby. (laughs) And I was like, I just need to tell him (laughs) now. And it's ready to Yeah. Because he knew that we were trying, he knew the complications and everything. It's just, it's just a nice feeling, isn't it? It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Feeling ever. But we keep getting little waves of excitement, <laughs> do we? Like randomly. I yeah. wish we could capture them on. Mine's normally at camera. four a.m. That's another thing as well. She by can't the way, sleep. I can't sleep. It's so annoying. I'm getting like, what's it called? Like insomnia. insomnia. No, you're asleep, you're falling asleep, but you just keep waking up at, like, four. No, I fall asleep and wake up at three, four, five, six. I just can't get back to sleep. She's still on half term, by the way. Has that made it easier or harder? Easier, I think. But I think it will go quicker when I'm back at school. Yeah, because you won't be thinking about it 24-7. No. It's just going to be so hard to hide my bump when <laughs> I know, what are you going to do? Oh, my God, yeah. Because I can't yeah. even wear, like, All big through summer. Yeah, jumpers. but we'll be able to tell people by then. By the time it's actual June, summer. June, by the start of June. Anyway, this video is probably going to just be a lot about of us talking. If you want to see like yeah, high energy just... vlogs, go and watch another video. No, because... we're going to take them to our scan. Yeah, but I mean, this is a much more chatty, vloggy video. Is it? Yeah. This is a much more chatty, longer, raw video than our other ones, but I think it's that's what we want it to be we want it to we want to look back on this yeah and see how we were feeling and hopefully if there's anyone else in our situation and you're looking for some reassurance i'm sure this is the easy part right now what 
and you're gonna start feeling worse. Me? Yeah. Do you think? No, I'm joking. That I shouldn't say that. That's not good. Yeah, it is. Um, we've got a long old road ahead of us now. I'm, I'm just, I just want to get this scan out of the way. Anyway, that's the diaries of Fabnell checking out for Mom tonight. and Dad. Mum and Dad. Week ten, look. So we've just we just downloaded this app that shows you the size, and Ellen's almost in tears. I didn't film last night, but she start she just randomly started crying, didn't you? Are you starting to get a bit emotional? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. What's that? Okay, hang on. Right, so. That's week five. This is what week we're currently on. Well, I'm five weeks on Sunday, so. So that's week six. That's week five. Week five. They look so strange, don't they, <laughs> to begin with? Week Crazy. five. Looks like week a shark. Week six. Week seven. <laughs> week eight. Oh, he's got his eye. Or well, she's got. She keeps telling me off because I keep he's seeing. He's saying he. We don't. They've know got the their gender. eyes. That what week's that? That's ten. week ten. No, week nine. Week nine. Week ten. Oh, now they're starting to look like a, just a baby. <laughs> week eleven. Week twelve. Oh my god! What the oh. hell? What's up, guys? Today. <laughs> <laughs> we are going for our six week scan. We've paid to have an early one, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so we're going to have that now. We've been so excited for this. Also nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. I'm trying to like, like, Just, yeah. Like, everything's going to be fine. It's so early, it's quite tiny. Yeah. Sometimes you should kind of see through the tummy. Yeah. So is this IVF yeah, pregnancy or not? No, no, just before we were going to go for IVF yeah, and then we felt naturally. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, so... So, now I've had a better look around. Yep. Yeah. Um, I can see that this is a twin pregnancy, okay? I can see two babies. They've both got heartbeats, okay? That doesn't feel real. That doesn't feel real. <laughs> oh. I thought I was getting a bit of a big bump for bloody. <laughs> oh my god. You oh. are gonna be huge. I know, I just, that's the first thing I said to her. I was like, oh my god, am I gonna be okay carrying twins? Answers of that. Oh, I didn't press record. Oh. I know. Oh my god. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. It is just gone 5 30. And I just thought we should film. You're over seven weeks now, aren't you? Yeah, it's been like seven weeks and three days. Over seven weeks. We've just recently found out that there's two in there. Not just one. There's bloody twins in your stomach. So... I don't I know about that. So yeah, no wonder she's been feeling so tired and emotional and sick. She's been getting all of the symptoms. Yeah, yeah. I have days of like, I think I'm just figuring it out still, but it's like every third day I feel so sick, but I've not actually been sick. It's just like nausea, but it lasts all day. Um, and it gets worse if I'm hungry. So I'm just eating, but it's so weird because I can't eat my breakfast and I can't eat my tea. But like in around lunch, I'm just like eating like loads. loads. That's good. You just got to get it in whilst you can. Yeah. And I have never felt tired <laughs> like this. Like all I do, I just feel like I just all I do is just think about sleep and cry. <laughs> <laughs> You're growing two little humans. I know. And she's cut, she's completely cut off caffeine. She's just having decaf now. So. Can you guys watching this at home imagine getting up at quarter past five with no caffeine whilst growing two humans in your tummy? You gotta give yourself a bit of a break. That's why you feel and then so I get tired. in my head because I'm crying, because I'm tired, but then I know, it's this okay. is what they wanted, and I feel I bad. Know, no, you don't feel bad. You're not complaining because this is because you don't want it, are you? No. 
It's absolutely fine to be upset. I'm just crying because I'm so tired. I know. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like we need to get some blackout curtains anyway for when they're both here, but like going to sleep at night I find really hard because of the light. Do you? Okay, we'll go, that's what we can do then this weekend, yeah? We'll get some blackout curtains. Yeah. I put them up. Okay, you're doing really well. I'm trying. You are, you're smashing it. You just gotta take it step by step. We are so grateful. I don't even think we've really caught up with you since we found out that we were having twins because it's just such a... We've been processing it. Like whirlwind and then we've been really excited to like tell our families and stuff because mm. like our families, like my mum and dad still don't know. Um, we've just told my parents and my brother. Because we were waiting until we had our um, six week scan just to check that like obviously everything was okay and that they had but it that well we thought there was only one that they had heart a heartbeat yeah turns out there's two and they've both got strong heartbeats so yeah they're both healthy at the moment i obviously we're not naive to to what yeah could happen and the journey ahead of us is that like, it's gonna be it's just getting started yeah because we obviously know that well we know the risks kind of with this type of pregnancy but like fingers crossed, touch wood, everything is okay and I deliver two healthy babies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were waiting until we'd seen the heartbeats to tell our parents. Everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, you're having twins and you get married next year. Oh, I know. We I know, bloody... if anybody could do this though, it's us. Yeah, we got this. We have got this. I feel like there's going to be a lot of couples watching this who are going to now be getting hounded by their partner, <sighs> being like, come on, let's have a baby. But uh, I think it's it's tough, isn't it? Because the last thing we want anyone watching this to do is, like, compare yourself to our life. Yeah, we, we were... We were those people. But we were also completely happy on our own but we just we knew from the get-go that we wanted a baby and obviously you probably know by now but we've been trying for years for this i'd prepared myself for years of trying with the possibility that we might not even get pregnant mm. and then this happens and i think that just shows that anything can happen you have to s keep your hope stay positive yeah. because just look at this, look at this situation. And obviously it's very early on in the pregnancy and we know that there's risks, but we're gonna stay hopeful and stay positive like we always do. Yeah. And tackle it, aren't we? Yeah. And we're gonna smash it. It's gonna be bloody hard, but it'll also be bloody fun as well, I think. And I think the whole, th the whole like thing about having twins, I think if we fell pregnant first time trying, we fell pregnant with twins we would be absolutely petrified wouldn't we but because we were like go obviously with all of our trying to perceive stuff and speaking to the doctors and um speaking to fertility doctors our only option really was ivf wasn't it if, yeah. if it didn't long, happen like naturally. long term so we just kind of prepared ourselves because obviously with IVF there is a risk of having multiple pregnant uh, multiple pregnancy. Yeah. So we were like, okay, like, yeah, that's fine. Obviously, we want a, we want we know we want a baby. <laughs> and so when they said it was twins, we were just a bit like, well, I said to Fab, I was like, oh my god, I told you because I just had this like a feeling even before we conceived. I was like, remember we were in the car and I said, I can see us being twin yeah. parents. And then, which said, I was like, I told you. We were you. joking about it. Yeah, in the waiting room. I was like, imagine if it's twins. How can you be, that? we're obviously destined to have twins. Mm. So that's my thought process is like, how can you be scared? That's obviously what the universe is wanting given us you. to have and yeah. given us. So yeah, I'm, I'm not scared. Process. I'm not scared at all. Like, I'm, I'm just, nervous I'm about just, you. That's all yeah. I'm scared about is like, I just want you to be safe and I want them to be safe. But yeah. In terms of actually having the babies, I mean, one is hard enough. You might just throw another one in. We'll be all right. What, like, yeah, we're probably going to gonna refer in, back to this clip and be in like... nine months' time. <laughs> I'm sat here crying because I've had no sleep. 
Again. <laughs> also, imagine, like, I feel like you can hold one baby and still go and do stuff. Yeah, I know. How am I going to make a coffee with two babies? I know. I'm like, what happens if they don't want to go down? When I'm they, hoping oh, God, when they're two, when they start to walk, we are in trouble. You know, like when they're running around the house. But it's one thing, these videos are about to get crazy. So our life is yeah, about to get it wasn't oh, crazy enough. Chaotic. It's about to get even more chaotic. Who wants a boring life? Not me. You know the deal with the food thing. She's been put off a load of food, but you've been saying you want ice cream on you for ages, yeah. and she just cried because I said I would take her to get a McFlurry from McDonald's. <laughs> That was cute. I wanted though. like a whipped ice cream, like, you know those whipped ice creams? Mr. I wanted Whippy. one of those for ages, and there's no ice cream van that comes around here. And I just said to Fab, and he said, Oh, come on then, I'll let's go to McDonald's and I'll take you and we can get one. And I just cried. <laughs> That's cute. Do you feel like the emotions are like up yeah. and down? Yeah. Yeah. It's... Two cries, no sick today. No sick? Well done. But lots of sick yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we documented that, did we? No, I keep, like, there's moments where Elle's, like, being sick or crying, and I'm, like, <laughs> probably not good to gab, grab the camera, but I kind of <laughs> want to capture it happening. So next time you're crying or something, I'm just going to go. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> I'll turn it off. Thank you. This is what I make for Elle every morning for her breakfast. Hello everybody. I feel like I haven't really sat down and spoken and updated you on my first trimester for a while. So basically, just been downstairs having like a little cry, <laughs> a good cry. Um, I've got my first midwife appointment tomorrow. Um, not my scan, um, just my midwife appointment for them to ask me questions about family history and stuff and I don't know it's just kind of it's like all hitting me I think that like how real this is like I don't know like I'm actually pregnant and not with one baby but with two <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm just feeling like extremely grateful today to be in this position after basically being told a couple of months ago that our chances of conceiving naturally were low and now like I'm where I dreamt I would be for such a long time like I don't know if I've spoke about it on here but like my mum can vouch for this like I have wanted children for since I was a child like I've always been so certain that I want to have children and I don't know just I feel really grateful that I am now in this position where I'm having two children with Fab we're getting married like everything just seems so I don't know like perfect and I don't want to say perfect because life's fun like far from perfect but I don't know just very content I think that's the right word like content like Fab and I always say to each other like like this whole experience of having twins like is not scary for either of us like we're just so ready for this now and because I guess we were told that our chances of conceiving naturally were so low that um the thought of we obviously thought and spoke about IVF and stuff and that was the route we were about to go down um and obviously having twins in IVF is very common so to be having twins naturally after the hard <laughs> couple of years we've been through. It's just, I don't know, amazing. 
but it's really really amazing and I don't know like it's all getting very real for me now like I've got my midwife appointment like I said tomorrow I'm starting to get like a little bump oh I say a little bump it's kind of hard to hide it now and obviously I'm only <laughs> I'm literally nine weeks and I'm already showing and it's really hard to hide the bump but I kind of don't want to hide it either because I'm just so proud that <laughs> that we're in this position i know you're not meant to tell loads of people etc but i'm finding real comfort in telling people like i don't know it's just like having that support network around you and you know everybody's excited you're not stressed because you're talking to people just feel very very grateful even after throwing my guts up <laughs> for the last three weeks i'm feeling extremely extremely grateful this whole journey of pregnancy and birth and well the birth does scare me a little bit i'm not gonna lie because <laughs> i think i want to have them naturally but i don't know if that would be possible but then having to give birth twice it's a bit <laughs> yeah that's a bit scary but just mine and fab's journey with our babies together and getting married next year and the babies being there because that was really important to me and fab to have our children at the wedding which is why we started trying two years ago before we obviously got engaged because we always knew we wanted to have our kids at our wedding so it's just just amazing how it's all worked out um and yeah i think i'm just crying because of my hormones <laughs> and just because it's all getting very real now I'm just hoping that everything obviously goes okay with my midwife appointment and um my scan and stuff so I feel like everything's going the right way like I'm feeling sick I'm having quite a few pregnancy symptoms still um a few of them are dying off but and then getting a new symptom so I think it's all a good sign and I think everything is going okay. It's crazy how much things can change and I basically wanted to come on um, because all of my TikTok, Instagram etc is all like people trying to conceive like because when you're going through that you try and like relate with people and you try and um, yeah you just you just want to be kind of surrounded by things and people who are going through the same thing so like, on my tiktok and stuff is all like people trying to conceive and if you're going through this obviously sometimes you might not want to say um to people because you want i don't know for whatever reason you don't want to share it with people but just use like my and fab story as hope because when you're going through what we kind of went through it's hard to like keep hope and to think that it will ever happen to you but it does and I know there's loads of other people who are going through a similar thing to what you're going through um who have conceived naturally so it's not a definite no these things do happen and it's tough it's so tough going through it and I know there's worse cases than ours I know I know and I know there's people who've been trying for longer than us but the upset and the worry that being told Fab's results caused for both of us more so him I think because obviously the issue was with him and just seeing him so upset and worried and now it's happened it's just it's just amazing there really is somebody i don't know and i'm not religious at all but i do believe that there's somebody looking down on us and who has blessed us with this miracle two miracles Bab's not on his way back from work and he's gonna be like ellen why are you crying why are you crying <laughs> he's gonna be so worried bless him he's been so good this whole time but yeah I will check in with you it will probably be tomorrow when we're going to our midwife appointment because i want to doc document as much as this as much of this process as i possibly can like literally all of the nitty-gritty stuff you know us we're not uh, afraid to 
share certain things, but yeah. Wednesday today, Wednesday the 18th of May, and we are going, where are we going? To our first midwife appointment. Oh, this is the midwife appointment. Yeah. Where did you think uh, we were going? Well, I just thought you were getting your bloods taken. No, this oh, is okay. Been Sorry, Ellen's um, Ellen's midwife or our midwife seems really nice. She called the other day, and she was super like I don't know, just nice, good yeah. energy, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so we're going to get her bloods taken. And she's got to ask me questions. Yeah. Apparently they ask um, if you're in, if you're what is it? If you're in a domestic, domestic violent relationship. Violent. So I'm preparing myself for that question. No, you didn't get asked. It's me. You didn't. No, I know. I'm just preparing myself so that I look nice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you're Why don't they ask me though? That's bad. Why don't they ask the man? Yeah, I know. I did think that. Yeah. It's a gorgeous day. Here. Is that my finger? Yeah, it is. <gasps> Oops. It's a beautiful day here today. Look, blue skies. And we're positive energy. What are they testing for today? Prolactin. No. <laughs> that, no. Was, that was months ago. Um, they were, they're testing today, I think they're going to test like my HCG levels or H, I can't remember which way around it is. Yeah. Um, and because I think they can tell from your bloods how well your pregnancy is doing but oh. I can tell from the amount that I'm throwing up that it's doing which is bad. So change your scenery to the bedroom that this video probably has been the entirety of, of it has probably been in our house in the bedroom and the car right me and Ella are out on a walk evening walk getting the steps in in this lovely woodland and I just wanted to tell you about a dream I had last night last night I had a dream that we were at my mum's house and we had babies well it was just one baby girl and she was about one and it was the most vivid dream I've ever had in my life and this is it sounds weird but I actually felt the emotion of love like I loved that little baby so much and it felt so real and it was the weirdest feeling I've ever had it's like you know when you know when someone says how would you describe love and you can't really say it well I'm like I know now like I it's weird I just felt it I just understand what it is and it was, I don't know whether it was such a, it was a very calming feeling. Um, I feel like reassured now and I don't know why, it's weird. Maybe that was my nan telling me in my dream. But, what, have girls? yeah, do you think that that would, imagine if we do have girls I now. I say I had a dream the other day, didn't I, that we had girls. Oh yeah, were they girls in your dream? Yeah. But in both of ours, it's only been one. Of Which is, yeah, let's just hope that, that, that they're both okay. But, I mean, that, that could mean that it's one boy, one girl, who knows. <laughs> but yeah, it was a bloody lovely dream. Um, we had, so the midwife appointment went really well yesterday. Apart from, it was a little bit scary because they said that because Elle had COVID when we conceived, it's a little bit riskier. Um, something was something to do with your breathing, wasn't it? My or the, respiratory. Your respiratory. Was it yours or the baby's? No, I think it. Yeah, but I like later on in pregnancy. Mm. But like Al said, I'm really worried about it, but Al keeps just telling me there's nothing we can do about it now, which is right. But lately I've been so nervous lately, more because I can't take on any of the the duty <laughs> i can't take on the pain i can't take on actually doing it all i can do is try and support al as much as possible and you are you think doing a great job. thank you but yeah not long until we have our 12 week scan and then we can tell people because i just want to i just want to tell people now this morning I've transferred all of the footage for our fertility series and I've started editing our announcement video and I'm watching back the moment that we found out that Ellen was pregnant and my heart 
is racing. My heartbeat is on 95 right now. I can literally feel it getting faster and faster watching this back because it's so emotional and I haven't really watched it back. Crazy, so look. I've got it all loaded up. My MacBook is gonna take off, but I'm so excited to edit this and get this series out. I think it will, um, it's very personal, but it's gonna help so many people. We're going for a 12 week scan. I've never, I've actually not been this nervous for years. This is a different kind of nerves. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna yeah. see two little babies beating each other up. Yeah, scrapping. <laughs> 12 week scam. Let's go and get it done. I don't know where this clip will be in the video or if it's its, its own video, who knows, but let's do this. Let's go and see them. We've got the added, I think what's making me worry as well is the fact that we haven't announced, we're announcing it tonight mm -hmm. and we've got our 12 week scan. It basically got pushed back. It was meant to be beginning of the week which would have been fine, but now it's pushed, been pushed back to today, which is Thursday, which is the day we're uploading the video announcing, so. Just off to see our children. It's just calm, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get in here, does it? I'm glad we came early because we cannot find a parking space. It's absolutely rammed here. That seems to be a common, oh, yes. there we go. We've bagged one, ladies and gentlemen. Common theme with hospitals. Do they ch they would probably charge us like 10 quid to park here as well. Yeah. Is it recording? <laughs> <laughs> that was... Okay, they're both fine. They're both fine. That which is a relief. We've got... Look at... Show that one. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. So cute. I reckon they're boys. Why? I reckon one's a boy and one's a girl. Twin A. Because of the... Oh no, look. What? Nub theory. Boy. Nub theory. Yeah. Um, All girls. I don't know. I'm going to put it on my group and say, what do you think I'm having? Because no. they're so good. No, no, no. On my twin mum group. Do you want to know now? Yeah. Oh we're not going to know officially, God. are we? That was the coolest experience ever. They, like, kick each other. One twin had its foot in the other twin's mouth, yeah. basically. <laughs> they it move around so much. It like, they mad. wriggle and turn and... The last time we saw them, they were literally just little like, heartbeats. Little beats. beans. And she literally put it on and you could see both Bolt of them upright. like wriggling around well, straight I, away. There, look. So this, as soon as she put the, what's it called? I don't know, ultrasound thing. Oh, the thing. As soon as she put it on there, look, they were like both bolt upright like that. Oh my God. Twin B is the wriggly one and twin A was the yeah. well behaved one. The only thing is Ellen's got to go back on Tuesday. Yeah, because just have the, we're having the Down syndrome something something Screening, something else. but they couldn't get, there's a measurement they have to get behind their neck, which is apparently really hard to get. And they were so close together that they couldn't get it. Yeah, so. they were like, they were like bunk beds. I'm trying to get it, that's them. nuts. That is nuts that the human body can hold. Two babies. Two what do you think babies. we're having? You hold, you hold one side, I'll hold the other. Do you want my belly out then if we're gonna hold it? So we want it above your face then, really? Or... Yeah, it's just, um, I can't, one. I rang my doctors and I can't get in until next Friday, so, and I kind of need okay, to know a little bit before then. I mean, because it's medication, if it's just a general inquiry about medication, pharmacists should be able to help you. So one of these, I'll send the details over to your local, um, uh, Morrison's pharmacy. Okay. Yeah. The only thing we didn't touch on in this is the fact that Ellen had to take aspirin and there was a whole hoo-ha because when you were younger you had an operation, didn't you? I did. And you may have had an allergic reaction to something that had well, aspirin in it. I had no, I had an allergic reaction to either cocodamol or diflofenic. Diflofenic and aspirin apparently are in the same group, I don't know. Which I didn't know, so we were they were umming and ahhing whether to put me on aspirin because if I had an allergic reaction to the aspirin, because and also I've never taken aspirin before because I'm asthmatic, so that was another thing. Mm -hmm. So we had to like be really careful about me taking aspirin, but it turns out that I'm fine, so that means that I'm obviously allergic to codeine. Yeah. Which I also had to tell my midwife because they can give you codeine as well. I think. Yeah, as a medication. I can't remember it was yeah. super long ago now, but. Yeah, I'm on aspirin now. Um, Every day you take that, don't you? Yeah, and basically if you have a twin pregnancy, you have to take aspirin to prevent getting preeclampsia. Mm. 
because it's a lot more common in twin pregnancy. Yeah. So yeah, now taking aspirin, um, and it gives me horrific heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the main things from your first trimester were feeling sick, food mm -hmm. aversions, tiredness. Yeah. yeah, God, the tiredness. And that was it, really, wasn't it? Remember but the main that. things, yeah. I was just like, oh, I just kept crying. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this whole video has just been me crying, so I do apologise. No, there's not I'm a lot happier crying. now. <laughs> I'm not happier. I'm a lot less emotional Hormonal. now. Yeah. If you made it this far, because it's 45 minutes, thanks. Because <laughs> that is a long video. Hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed. And if you did make it to the end, comment below and say that you made it to yeah, the end. Yeah, let us know. So know. then we know yeah. who's watching all the way to the end. Yeah. <laughs>